Hi, this session we are going to see components of an, a digital image processing. That is, what are the elements present in the digital image processing? Right. Let us see the block diagram of components of an, a digital image processing. In this block diagram, we are having image sensors, specialized image processing hardware, computer, along with the image displays, mass storage, hard copy, and image processing software. Finally, are all connected with a network, right? Let us see one by one what are the function of each blocks. The first one is image sensor. Image sensor, it's used to sense the image. It's nothing but a sensing device. It has two elements. One is a physical sensing device, which is used to capture the image what we wish to image. The next one is a digitizer. Digitizer is nothing but a we already discussed in the fundamental steps, a digitizer used to convert an analog image into a digital form. In general, images are analog in nature. Hence, we have to convert it into a digital form. That can be done by using a digitizer. Uh, next one is specialized image processing hardware. Usually, it consists of a digitizer, which is used to convert the analog image into a digital form along with that it has some additional hardware used to perform arithmetic as well as logical operation it's a arithmetic logic unit this is a specialized image processing hardware this unit performs functions that require a fast data throughputs that the typical main computer cannot handle right the next one is computer computer is our general purpose computer it can be ranges from normal computer to super computer for a dedicated applications they are using some specialized design computers used to achieve the record level of performance this is a computer next one is image processing software software is nothing but application oriented software for image processing has a specialized module that perform a specific task so it is an application oriented image processing software next one is mass storage capability it's nothing but our hard disk it's a storage device in general if you want to save a 8-bit image having the size of 1024 into 1024 pixels it requires one megabyte of storage space and it is in the uncompressed form here they are categorized into three types one is a short term second one is online third one is archival right let us see one by one a short term storage it's a computer memory also call it as a frame buffer they can store one or more images can be accessed rapidly this is a short term storage next one is online storage it's a take a form of a magnetic disk and the optical media storage the online storage is a frequent access to the stored data. It's characterized by frequent access. The final one is archival storage. It has to be characterized by a massive storage requirement but infrequent need for access. So the previous two cases, short term as well as online can be accessed rapidly as well as frequently. In the last case, it will be infrequent access. Next, we are going to see image display. Image display is our general monitor. It's a color TV monitor. Nowadays, flat monitors are used here. The monitors are driven by the output of the image and a graphic display cards that are an integral part of a computer system. It's a image display. Uh, next one is hard copy devices. This is nothing but your printout copies. It's a photocopy, which is used for recording images can be a laser printer, a film cameras, heat sensitive devices as well as inkjet units and uh, digital units like CD-ROM disk. It's a hard copy device, devices. Next one is finally uh, networking. It's a default function in any computer system uses today's networking. It's an internet, right? Uh, due to the large amount of data inherent in image processing application is the key consideration in image transmission is bandwidth why because nowadays we are using high resolution cameras in our mobile phone itself right so 
if you capture an image means the size of image will be a very big one if you want to transmit that we require a more bandwidth right in dedicated network this typically is a not a problem but communication with a remote sites via internet are not always as efficient so this is the networking part right let us see again that general block diagram of components of an image system it consists of image sensors specialized image processing hardware computer image displays mass storage hard copy image processing software finally they are connected with a network thank you for watching this video thank you